guys welcome back to my channel it's Lexi and in today's video I'm going through the garbage I just did a huge purge of all of my hair products that video should be up on the channel already so I will leave it linked up above my head so in today's video these are all the hair products that are going in the garbage because I've had them for far too long I'm talking three to four years they've actually lasted throughout several purges I just don't want to throw them out because they were so good or because they were expensive or whatever the case may be but they gotta go because the, at, the, at the end of the day I haven't used them in three to four years and from my Googles you aren't supposed to keep hair products and use hair products, you know, past that mark. So in my purge, I've stacked up quite a bit of garbage <laughs> and I'm kind of sad about it. But I want to show you guys what I have and revisit some of my old favorites. They These literally are a pile of old favorites and see if I would still recommend them, if I could still repurchase them. It's a lot of main choice because at one point I was a main choice junkie and I still like and love their products but obviously as new things come out you try new things you kind of venture out so I'm just gonna grab and talk and we're gonna get into it the first thing I had to show you guys is this main choice ancient Egyptian shampoo and conditioner they both have this much product left how they look okay and you could see you could see they only have like less than one use pretty much but i've literally had these products everything in this pile three to four years maybe even more and these are fire i really like these but as time went on i realized that i like other main choice products a lot more so these i would not repurchase although they're really good and they do what they claim to do then i have this courageous conditioner from the do it for the culture collection and the accomplished triple leave-in these are both things that I would recommend from the main choice. These are things that are fire and I've had these for over a couple of years as well and they've been put to good good use. This one is like maybe one use left. This one has a lot of product in it but I forgot about it. It was in the back of my product shelf for a long time. I've moved with this product I've purged two or three times and I've kept this product hoping to use it and I never got around to it but it has to go because it has to go these though are fire I'm gonna go through all the main choice stuff first to get it out of the way so then I have the soft as can be three in one conditioner and the deep strengthening and restorative mask treatment the three in one conditioner is a product that I think everybody should have because you really could use it as three in one. I like to use it as a leave-in. It's a really bomb leave-in. I recommend this. It's bomb. I love it. I have like this much maybe left of it, but it's it's old, so we gotta get rid of it. <laughs> the deep strengthening and restorative mask. I liked it, it's okay, but I wouldn't recommend it and I wouldn't repurchase it. I used it, I believe, twice. I should have used it up to not waste it. But here we are and it has to go. Then I have the Tropical Moringa Rinse Out or Leave-In Conditioner and the Tropical Moringa Sweet Mask, Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Mask. This collection is probably my favorite collection from the main choice, hands down. This collection and the Do It For The Culture collection. I feel like nothing they've put out since these products and prior to these products can top these products. I love this collection the most and I would highly recommend the rinse out or leave in. I love when things can be used for multiple re places, reasons, whys, whatever. I live for it. This mask was my least favorite from this collection so I would not recommend this or repurchase it but this, listen honey baby let me tell y'all life-changing life-changing it pains me to toss this but I've literally been keeping these things with me for a very long time and they truly have to go <laughs> now I have three stylers I have three of the best stylers the main choice ever put out point blank period don't debate me I promise y'all you're not gonna win this these three stylers right here <laughs> amazing and unfortunately they have to go but I wish I could have used them up, but it's just me and my one head of hair. What can I do? If it's one thing the main choice is going to do, they're going to make some bomb gels and conditioners. If it's one thing they're going to do. So the Do It For The Culture Bold and Buttery Gel is, in my opinion, unmatched. 
truly, truly, truly unmatched. It's a fire product. It has moisture and it has hold. This, I think, is their best gel because it is moisturizing. I think the most moisturizing gel that I've tried from them. Ancient Egyptian gel and the Tropical Moringa gel. Pearly braid out glaze. Girl, girl. The pearly braid out glaze is second and then the um, <laughs> Ancient Egyptian one is third. But these are all bomb. I would recommend the pearly braid out glaze or the ancient Egyptian and y'all gonna have a good style. If you wanna have a style style, like a style style style, you need one of them, for real, for real. Those are all the main choice items that I have. Let's move on to other brands. I have the Cream of Nature Argon Oil Snot. I used this for a while, but I really don't do that many sleek styles or wash and goes so I could not really use it up this is old like this is several like I don't even know how many years old I should have been thrown this out but I always think oh when I do a sleek style I can grab this da 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 da, -da but I don't end up using it. And also when you try new stuff all the time, it's really hard to go back to old stuff and just use it up. It becomes a challenge. So it has to go, this is very old. Nobody should or could use this particular product <laughs> off my shelf. In the Purge video, I mentioned that I do give away stuff all the time to friends and family because I don't like to waste things, but some stuff gets stuck in the back of my shelf and I forget about it and I plan to use it and then I never do. Then we have the Myel Organics Mongongo Oil Pre-Shampoo Treatment. I used this two or three times. I remember really liking this, um, but I wasn't like, oh my God, I have to use this every single wash day, if that makes sense. So would I recommend this? You have to have this on your shelf? No. The African Pride Pre-Poo is the best pre-poo I've ever used and I probably will only ever mention or recommend that one because it, to me, is the best out. Then I have this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Hydrate Repair Multi-Action Leave-In, which is the best spray leave-in on the market. <laughs> And I really shouldn't make like blanket statements like that, but this is fire. I love this. I had it a long time ago. It was sent to me a few years ago. My sister took it and she lives out of state and she texted me like, oh, it's amazing. Thank you so much. And I was like, it's amazing. I didn't really feel that way. Let me go get one. <laughs> Why? Why, Lexi? So I went and I got one and I was like, oh, I was sleeping. Like I didn't really like give it a chance. So I love it. It's so good. This is also very old and it has like one use. just like this much left in here. Fire though. If I'm going to recommend a spray leave, it's going to be this one. Fire. Next, I am very sad that I have to throw this out because I used it like two times maybe. This is the Natural All Club Flaxseed Gel Curl Custard plus yogurt. This is something that I would consider to be a light hold. It's definitely not like a crispy, crunchy, all day couple hold gel, but it was nice. It's also moisturizing, um, but yeah, it's garbage. I've had this for far too long. It has to go. Would I recommend that you have to have this in your life? They have better gels, so no. Also on Instagram, it seems like Natural Club has been rebranding and putting out new stuff. So I'm not even sure if you can still purchase um, some stuff from their site that they used to sell. I have to check that out. I'm not even sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. Then I have these from Honey's Handmade. Y'all know if you're not new here. Honey Handmade is one of my favorite hair brands for like handmade, like truly natural ingredients, kitchen sink type of vibes that work. I love them. But I've had these products for far too long. And especially because they are all natural, I think it's even more reason to get rid of them because I've had them for, it has to go, okay? But I have the buttermilk shampoo and I have the sealing syrup. I enjoyed both of these products a lot and it pains me to get rid of them because they're good, they're good. And the last item that has made it to the garbage can that is fire, unfortunately, is the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Velvet Hair Mask. The Cocoa Cream line from Carol's Daughter Nobody is touching it. Like some people are touching it, but nobody's touching it for real. Like when it comes to go to Walmart, go to Target, pick it up off the shelf. This is the best mask out. 
<laughs> and I'm, I'm exaggerating, but it's really, 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 really good. It's really, really good. If you have hair like mine, thick, dense, um, dry sometimes, high porosity, easily tangled, kinky hair, this mask is a melt your tangles away type of vibes. I've had this mask far too long. It actually has a little bit of an odd scent to it at this point, but I've been keeping it on the show just to be like, all right, I'm gonna use it one of these days. Never got there. So those are all of the items that have made to the garbage can because I have failed to use them up, even though most of them are really, really good products. Let me know in the comment section, what have you recently used up or thrown away because you didn't get to use it up? I would love to hear your thoughts. I purge products quite often, but I never record that process i think it's a good idea to give you guys an idea of what i actually do love what gets used what gets thrown out it could be helpful for your purchasing process let me know in the comments if this video was helpful i hope that it was give it a thumbs up on your way out and if you are still here and you watched all 15 minutes or whatever of this video and you have not joined <laughs> I'm a fool. The Candy Kings channel, the Candy Kings family. Are you okay? Are you good? Come on, I'm being consistent again, I'm out here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.